Hi guys. So this is my second video on Euler's method. In the first video, I just kind of introduced it, explained what it was all about. I did a fairly a fairly straightforward example. This example I'm going to do in this video is from a past paper. To be honest, it's actually not a whole lot more difficult once you kind of get the hang of it. Um, they're all pretty much the same. So let's go through it. I'm going to do it just kind of the normal way, and then I'll show you a fancy way to do it on the calculator. Generally, to be honest, I recommend just doing it the normal way. It's no harm to know how to do it the fancy way, and you can even use that to check your answer. Um, but I would I would recommend writing down all these steps and doing it kind of the long way. So, how do we start? Well, we always kind of start with this with this table. So I have n, I have x of n. I then have y of n, which is the one that's going to need the most space. And I have f of xn, yn. Now remember, that is dy dx. So dy dx equals f of xn, yn. And that is given here. The differential equation is dy dx equals y squared over 1 minus x. So that's what we're going to use to get our different are different y's. So it says, um, it gives us the initial condition. So when x is 0, y is 1. So we're going to have the, our initial condition when x is 0. So n, n is 0. So this is like my initial, my initial condition, my zeroth step, if you like, x is 0. And y is 1. Now I can go down here, I'm going to be doing X, I'm going to do the first step, second step, third step, fourth step. I'll need a bit more space. Fifth step. Now look, it says the step length is 0 0.1. So my step length is 0 0.1. That's my H. H is 0 0.1. And he wants me to find an approximation of approximate value of y when x is 0 0.5. So I'm going to go 0 0.1. That's the first step, then 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. Okay, now, what I do is I get dy dx when x is 0 and y is 1. So that's my dy dx for um, at this at this position. So I'm so, so what I do is I sub in I sub in uh, 1 for y and 0 for x. So it's just going to be 1 over, because it's 1 squared, 1 squared is 1 over 1 plus 0 equals 1. So this f of x and y n at this point is 1. So how do I get to my next y? This is my next iteration. Well, I go y1 or sorry, y0. So to get to y1, I do the previous y, which is y0, which is 1. So it's going to be 1 plus h times this. So it's going to be 1 plus h is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 times this, which is 1. And this equals 1 plus 0 0.1 is 1.1. Okay. Next step, I sub this and this into dy dx. So I'm going to have 1.1, 1.1 over 1 plus 0 0.1, which is again 1.1 over 1 plus 0 0.1. Sorry, it's 1.1 squared. What am I doing? 1.1 squared over 1 plus 0 0.1. Now, at this point, I need my calculator. Calculate. So it's 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.1 squared. I'll do this, 1.1 squared over 1 plus 0 0.1, which is 1.1. And that gives me exactly 1.1, right? This equals 1.1. Now look, this obviously gets a bit tedious. So make sure you try and look do this whole thing yourself after I'm finished, or even now if you want to stop the video and try and do it, because we just have to go through it. Once you get once you understand the pattern and what I'm doing, it should be fine. So now I go to 
the next step. So it's this, it's y1, so 1.1 plus step length 0 0.1, that's always going to be 0 0.1, times this 1.1 equals, so it's 1.1 plus 0 0.1 times 1.1. 1.1 .1. 1 .1 plus 0 0.1 times 1.1. This gives me 1.21. 1.21. What do I sub in here now? At this point, I'm, I'm actually thinking maybe that my quick calculator way is going to be even better, but look, or it, it is going to be worth it. But let's continue. 1.21, so I need to do this squared. So it's 1.21 squared over 1 plus 0 0.2, because it's the next x, 0 0.2. And this equals, let me move this over here. So it's... 1.21 squared. No, didn't want to do that. 1.21 squared over 1.2. Okay, 1.22008. 1.22008. I'm going to put down these six significant figures. Next one. My next y, 1.21 plus 0 0.1 times this 1.22008 and this equals I think I'm gonna to have to put it here this equals let me put this up here 1.21 plus 0 0.1 times 1 1.22008 Press enter, 1.33201, 1.33201, nearly finished. Well, a few more to go. One, now I have to square y squared. What's y? This. So it's 1.33201 squared all over 1 plus 0 0.3. And this equals 1.3. 33201 squared all over 1.3. This gives me 1.36481. 1 1.36481. Next one. Um, next y is this. So it's 1.33201 plus 0 0.1 times this 1.36481 and this equals 1.33201 plus 0 0.1 times 1 1.36481 1.46849, 1.46849, nearly done, nearly done. Now I have to put this squared, so this one equals 1.46849 squared over 1 plus 0 0.4, and this equals, two more calculations, 1.4. Four, six, eight, four, nine, squared, all over. Just do it like that. All over one point four gives me one point five four zero oh, three three. One point five four zero oh, three three. And then finally, this one. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit here to there. So this is 1.46849 plus 0 0.1 times this 1.54033. And this equals, this equals 1.46849 plus 0 0.1 times 1.54033. 
equals 1.62252. 1 1.62252. So you can say, um, so when x equals 0 0.5, y is approximately equal to 1.62252. Now look, obviously that has loads of room for making mistakes, so be very, very, very careful. I'm going to show you, look, often they don't actually ask you to, to do that many steps. I think that was a bit unfair for an exam question. Expect to do maybe three, maximum four. That Five seemed like a lot there. But I want to show you how to do it with the calculator. Now, I only have like the fancy way of the calculator. I only have the TI Inspire to show you on. So apologies if you have a different calculator. I'm sure you can just YouTube how to do it. But there's a nice kind of way to do this. You have to be careful because, um, well, obviously, if you type in the wrong thing at all, you're going to get the whole thing wrong. So I like to use this as a kind of way to check that this is right. So what I do is I'm essentially going to write in my table here. So this is this is my x, this is my y, and this is my dy dx. I'm just gonna write I'm just gonna write dy dx like that. Excuse the poor notation. Now the um don't worry about zero zero to five because that's kinda like my well it'll be one to six, but don't worry about it. Because what's important is the x's and the y's. So I'm gonna put zero, this is zero, um 0 0.1, I can put these in because I know the step lengths, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. Okay, I know my first y is 1. That's like my initial, my initial y is 1. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. What I want to put here is the I want to put dy dx is y squared over 1 plus x. But I don't want to put, I can't just write y squared over 1 plus x. I want to put a bit like if you know how to use uh, Microsoft Excel, you do equals and you kind of make a formula in the cell. So I'm going to say equals and then I want y squared. So actually I'm going to do this equals. Now instead of writing y squared, I'm going to click the cell a bit like you do in Excel click this. So now it's B1. And I want that squared. And this is over one plus and again, I'm not going to write x, I'm going to write, I'm going to click the cell. So now, when I press enter here, that should give me one and it does. Okay. Now, what I do is this one. This is my Euler's method formula. So this is my y n. So it's this one. So this is going to be equals this. Okay, plus h, our h is my step length, which is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times this, because it's, it's the derivative, it's h times the derivative of the previous one. So it's that times this. Okay, now I'm going to press enter, and this gives me 1.1, which is correct. Now, I'm going to pull this down like this. Hang on, I'm too far there. Let me down, just down to the sixth one, here. And then, I'm going to put, so that, again, a bit like Excel, that kind of just fills the that fills the, the cells. So look, this is doing b3 squared over 1 plus a3. This is doing b4 squared over 1 plus a4. Okay, now I need to do the same here. I'm going to pull this, and this is a bit tricky to do with your calculator. You have to press it down and then drag it. So down to here, and you see all these fill up, and look what I get. I get my 1.62252, just like here, I have my 1.62252. Now look, I know you're looking at that saying, hang on, that was way, what I just did there was way easier than what I did here. Well, look, arguably they're both as easy and both kind of as as finicky or as, as annoying to do. 
generally I recommend students to do it this way. This example that I've shown you is particularly long, so this way is actually a nicer way to do it. Um, if you're very stuck for time and you're really good at doing it like this, perhaps look, if you practice a lot of different examples using your calculator, you'll get good at it. Um, but again, depending on the time situation, I think if, if you have enough time, do this first and then do this to check it. Otherwise, just do this one on your own. If you're really, really, really confident that you know what you're doing, then go with the kind of quick way with the calculator. Okay, that's it on Euler's method. I hope that all makes sense. One thing, guys, when I do when I do Euler's method in class, I always show a video, and I'm I'm not going to show it here just because. Um. Well, you can just just YouTube it yourself. There's a if you YouTube, um. Euler's method, hidden figures. There's a perfect, there's a, it's, it's a little bit of a cheesy clip, but it shows, the, um, if you've ever watched the movie Hidden Figures, it's about, it's basically about NASA trying to get, well, the, the, this particular scene, they're trying to get astronauts back out of orbit, um, back down to Earth. And the way they figure it out is using Euler's method. So, just watch that clip because it's uh, it's a nice example of Euler's method. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, next lesson, we will be looking at homogeneous differential equations, um, depending on what order you look at my videos. But anyway, see you then.